So when we look at peak week, for those who are unfamiliar with peak week, that is a time for us to decrease inflammation, um, get the body into a proper position to be able to increase carbohydrates and improve the overall look um, by increasing fullness and those different factors. So it's a time for us to optimize and prime the physique, if you will, to put the best physique on stage that Saturday. Um, and you know, it, we take it over a seven day period. There's a lot of different ways that you can approach peak weeks in general for Sue and, and for athletes that it's their first peak week with me. I take a pretty conservative approach to be able to see what's going to be responsive, what's going to be something that is, is conducive for us to be able to take data and, and potentially shoot for a home run in shows later on in the year specifically. And so year to year data is important, but uh, when it's that first show, we're really shooting for roughly an 85 to 90% look of the physique. I'm not trying to hit an absolute home run that first peak week, because more often than not, the look that's 85 or 90% is going to be much better than the look that's potentially going to be like a 103% with a slight spillover or something of that nature. And so I went with an approach that was, was very uh, conducive to what we were shooting for. I felt as though that we were able to um, hit the look that I was anticipating for. Uh, and I, I felt like the approach was good. Yeah. And I, I agree with you there. And I think one thing that's really important to talk about when it comes to peak weeks is one, it's not a time to get in shape. You have to already be in shape going into the peak week. And it's something that exactly what Alex said, we're optimizing, we're fine tuning things. So if you are, if you have a ton of weight still to lose, or even five or 10 pounds still to lose, that's going to be something that isn't going to be fixed within a peak week. You're already in shape and ready to go in peak week and just making sure you're able to present your best physique. And within that, with this being our first time that Alex is writing a peak week, it's also something where, like he said, we're just trying to figure it out. And it's also something that when you look at a peak week and when you look at all the different variables that go into it and what can happen from that peak week, uh, you also need to take into consideration what the rest of your season is. So that's something else that we were thinking of, of, hey, we want to hit 100% for the show in five weeks. And a regional show is going to be um, something that we want to make sure that we qualify, we get feedback, we get on stage, we look really great, but we weren't aiming for that 100%. We were aiming to learn and we were we were aiming to win. No one goes to lose. <laughs> I don't think anyone goes to lose. But it's also something that we were trying to plan to make sure that I was able to present the best physique in five weeks. Now, if you're listening to this and you're like, well, why don't you just hit 100 percent, 100 percent? That doesn't happen <laughs> most of the time. And it's also something that you need to take into consideration that athlete and what stress is on them as well as what circumstances they're under. So if someone is a natural athlete, if you push them and get them to that 100% and then you have to keep them at 100% for five more weeks, that's extremely difficult. With an enhanced athlete, not that it's not difficult, but there are some different rules that are in place or different things that are going to take place to get to that point in time. So it's very, very methodical. And Alex went about it in a phenomenal way. He really prioritized me, the data that we had, and he put things in place that were going to be great as far as my skin prep. The tan was the best a tan has ever sat on me. Um, the best I felt going into a show energy-wise as well as stress-wise. I was talking to a friend even going into it, and they were like, how are you doing? How are things going? And I just said, like, I feel like a different person going into this show. I don't feel like I'm thinking, am I ready? Are things good to go? Are, is the coach going to make the right call? I just knew that Alex was going to do what was going to be best for me in those instances with the data that he had. And I knew that we were going to be there to support one another at the end. So I want to thank you for all of the peace of mind that you gave me going into the show. I know that you beat yourself up and tore yourself apart after the show. Um, but hindsight is 2020, And if you know, anything about Alex and I, we're both blind as shit. So our hindsight is really great, but our actual eyesight, you know, our kids are going to be screwed. Yeah, That's like just that. shit. Uh, but it is something that you can look back and you can beat yourself up about all the things that could have happened or could have changed. But at the core of it, 
we took the data and he specifically took the data and the information from everything and built out what was going to be the best plan with gathering data in mind. 